get a lot of things in the mail when your kids are being recruited and um, you know you, you sort of almost cynically think oh well sure you know they they're they're interested but with JBU it just felt like they really were I mean there mm -hmm. were handwritten notes there were specific questions about him and, and what he was doing one of the main reasons or I should say the first big reason that we loved John Brown University and knowing that Sydney was in good hands was the letter that we received after Sydney was accepted to John Brown, the letter from the university stating that they were praying for her and that they would be praying for us during this transition time for Sydney to be at John Brown. It was amazing and I still have that letter. It was, learn it was a learning experience for us because mm, nobody, I mean this is our first son coming to college, university. Uh, it is, it was a, a, a smooth process, but it was a learning process for us. There were, there were people who had addressed uh, pretty much every um, concern or fear that I, that I had conjured up. Just knowing that, that there had been really no concern that I could come up with that hadn't been thought about mm -hmm. and there wasn't some attention being given to um, was, was mm -hmm. hugely reassuring. We had an incredible experience with our admissions counselor, Jessica. Not only did she make Braden feel like part of JBU from the get-go, but she really included us in that process as well. I just, I felt instantly connected to JBU because of that instant connection with Jessica. This is the type of thing where I talk to other parents. John Brown, it's not just another college. It, it's, it was an extension of home to us, an extension in her education area, yes, but the friends that we have made as adults, friends of her friends' parents, it just goes on and on. When the Lord is in it, it's, it's the real deal. And we know a lot of the teachers. We know a lot of the uh, res residents, directors, and so we know them, and we know that, that they're gonna be, in, that they are in good hands. If I had to pick people for my son to be around, these would have been the people I would have picked because I knew they were authentic and I knew the things they had said that were, were real, they weren't just words. You know, everybody can have a slogan, any school can have a slogan, but it's what you put behind it. Like it's not just words, it's not just lip service to people. Like we've had the opportunity to see it firsthand, um, to see it in action, to listen to the administrators, listen to their heart. Um, listen to uh, the direction that the university is going through um, their projects and the things and, and what's behind it. What's the drive behind it? Is it to be a bigger campus or to have a greater building or more new buildings or no? You know, it's about advancing the gospel. It's about um, uh, helping our children to understand what God's plans for their life are. Um, and and it's, it's, I mean, it's just manifested itself in our child. Um, because of, of what's happening here in this place. And I really believe that because we've looked at a lot of schools and we tell them, you know, I know everybody wants to find the place God has for them and they have different interests and different things they're looking for, but I think it's all here because it's, you know, no matter what their background, if they go to public school, private school, big school, small school, um, I've just never seen a place like JBU. I've never seen a place where people are more authentic and people are more interested in your children and they're not just a student. I want parents, it's kind of like I want to spare them the stress and the, the trouble of, of having to look at other places because in the end they'll just find this is the best place anyway. Just awesome people of integrity and great spirit. It's just been a great atmosphere for Sydney. We couldn't have asked for anything better. John Brown.